You're wondering why we're in the daylight. Well, and you may have figured out, maybe I left it in the editing, I don't know. Some of it was blurry. All of a sudden, my focus got blurry. So I wanted to show you this spot here. There are no weeds or anything around it. I've been looking at manholes lately, and I've noticed some of them have grasses and evidence that they haven't been opened. And some of them reflect that they have been opened by being so clean. And this one has sandy mud around it. I'm wondering, where did the sandy mud come from? Anyway, so there are those trees. So at night now, that light is on. That one there too, it has a sensor on it, which is kind of weird. Um, and I'm going to try and show you the footprints if I see them. And we're going to go look and see if anything happened evidence-wise that I could see, haha, -ha, with my treat of the mandarin oranges. Pause, please. Okay, so no bicycle. And look at that's fixed. There's not even evidence a bicycle was shoved in there. And the ravens are over here. I'm not sure what they're picking out. Worms, probably. I want to look. Okay, these are the sticks. So there's one. It's ripped at the bottom and peeled near the top. Come on, we're going to go look for more. Look at all those acorns still there. Okay, we're looking for little sticks. Well, they seem to have cleaned it up. There's some bigger sticks over there. Mm, nice trident. I probably should have done those pictures that other day when I was thinking about it. Yeah, these guys aren't eating the acorns. Alright, come on. Oh, there's a peel. Maybe because I said I was going to come back and take pictures. right there oh you know what I was thinking the reason that these are like this they're drying them they've been put on this stuff where it gets hot and the Sun is these are actually being dried out that's what I think that they're being dried out oh, there's a squirrel over there hey buddy okay all right, well, anyway, so, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there it is in there, in the garbage. Okay. That was probably too risky of a move anyway. Too much public opportunity to touch it. This one here, see, this is a peeled stick too. See how flat it is right here? We got there, Miss Bella. Oh, look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's what the dog was smelling. What is that right there? So this is really flat, right? So this is a good way not to leave behind footprints. Look right here. Wait. I know it's just a design. Right there. Right there, look.
Okay, now we're going to go this way. We're going to do one last check through here. Coming. I think there's a string right there. How cool is that? Okay, ready? Come on, this way. This way. This way. This way. This way, this way. This way. Peeled. Peeled. Come on. Okay. So... We still have to make it back here again at night. Peeled. Broken and peeled. Something was laying there. I wonder if deer come through here. I doubt it. There's really nothing for them to eat. Okay. This is Robin from the San Francisco Bay Area Sasquatch Believers. Good day. It is Tuesday, the 16th. The wind is blowing. Some of the leaves are blowing around. But basically they're all still in the little piles. I just noticed this over here. Interesting. A lot of flat marks. Okay, so I have my mask on. But look here. I see flattened out footprints right there. Tamping down the ground. Right there. That would make sense to me as to why it's so flat over here. But I've been saying that for a while. I just haven't been able to capture the prints for you yet. Okay. There we go. I think that's some of them right there. And we already walked through this park a little bit right now. I wasn't going to do any filming because I've got so much of this stuff already. I'm still trying to compile for you guys, but um, they're still doing the acorn thing here. They're still getting crushed up. They're still keeping the space clear. There's still little acorns with no caps over here. There are acorns uh, in the ground buried under the leaves over here. And I want to take you this way and show you Sorry, it's not more stable. I ordered a gimbal. Well, I put it in my Amazon. Save for later. Let's put it that way. I found the one I wanted. There was a little squirrel with his head poking out right there a minute ago. Come on. There's lots of little acorns here. Lots of little sticks. It almost seems to me like they moved the acorn work down here. Lots of sticks. Lots of acorns. They're drying. I think they're drying the acorns. I think that's what they're doing. All right, well... So I, I still, I still have a, don't have a strategy for coming out here to see what I can find out in the nighttime, middle of the night, nighttime. Okay. Thank you. Since when do squirrels? Use sticks 
at the holes. See? There's practically a stick beside every hole right here. This is Robin. I am taking off my mask and I'm gonna to talk to you guys. I just had the most bizarre experience. I just got here to this park with these guys. There's Miss Sassy Blue over there. Um, it seemed kind of weird, like there were some changes. And as I was walking over there, I started noticing some of the cracks in the trees. And I got like the hair on my body stood up and I started thinking about the little people. And then I noticed some footprints over here, which I wasn't going to show you. But now that this other experience has happened, I am going to show you. Because while I was walking up this way with these dogs, that little dog right there, see, she's in a hall halter. I can't even think what it's called right now. Harness. Uh, we were walking along right here. And all of a sudden, the leash dropped off and she was walking along without her harness. And I, I'm not kidding you. I'm trying to decide how I'm acting. I need to like be brave and be strong and you know, come on, this is how it's gonna be. It's gonna go down. So let's see what's going on here. <sighs> brave talk, brave talk. Um, that thing was not unsnapped. Okay, so it crosses her legs and her body. I just had to put it on her again. <laughs> I'm totally tripping right now, but because I'm tripping, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back over here and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So, you know, in, this, in the fading sunlight, you can kind of see, it's really hard here. It's hard to see prints. I think along with this one, you'll be seeing some other prints I've found here recently. But I began to notice these acorns are like drying out. And of course, there's lots of these sticks that are the threshing sticks is what I think. These acorns are all getting dry now walking and talking fast sorry you guys there's like a ring around that rock although right now it's full of acorns see it's a cleared space look at these acorns here there's more of them over here they're starting to get really brown look over here there's a ring of acorn shells on um, acorn grinding rock there's lots of these threshing branches through here Okay, now we're going into the space where the trees are, right? The trees with the holes in them. Sorry, you guys. These trees have holes in them. Okay, so I don't necessarily believe that a big Bigfoot guy is going to be in there. But uh, I want to show you something along with... There's another rock with little... See the little glyphs, the little tiny... I'm showing those to you because I've been showing them to you. Okay, I don't know what this is about. At first, it looks like it's sawdust from where they cut that tree, but I think this is ground-up acorn shells. Okay, and then here, this tr this rock is wrapped up. Okay. There's other little dogs coming. This rock has uh, places around it. See right there? Okay, so does this one. See this right here? We're going to go right here so I can get rid of this other little dog. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, okay they left. I'm going to go this way. Okay, see right here? Barking Bella, be good. That's a good puppy. There's holes in that tree. That, it's the bag. They are afraid too. Yeah. Now she's afraid. Yeah. Get over here, Bella. You want to say hi? Be come nice. on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Wait. Okay, let's go this way then. Come on. Okay. Do not. She's good. That's good. She's being good. <laughs> There's a little print right there. See it in the shadow. Okay. I think that's a conspiracy, you guys. Look right here. Okay, so it goes around that rock. There's stuff there, not so much on the one. And in the video I also have with this one, there's a rock over there where there was decorations around it. So we came down through here yesterday. Oh, there's a heart made out of stuff in the ground. And I told you I was really aware of the broken sticks and the holes. And, you know, we know that squirrels, crows don't use. 
squirrels do, I guess, yeah. Sticks. No, squirrels don't use sticks. Okay, but when I came here today, I came around this way and we came in and I was like, there's a circle space there. See it? You can see it. It's created not just with the shadow, but with the stuff. And then there's little bitty things here. But I want you to notice the feel of the trees, right? So then I started realizing there's a hole in that tree over there by that picnic bench. That tree has giant holes in it. So you guys, I did it again. So we just kind of walked through this space, right? Didn't take pictures of the house. Right there. Namaste, beloved. Is there something in there? I really think so. So then we went over that way, past that tree, and back over to where I started filming, where this one's harness was suddenly not on her body and not unsnapped. And I put it on her. She's been in the car with me, and we've been walking for a few minutes. So, get over here. Yeah. <laughs> and just to say, you know, don't be tricksters to me. Little guys, I'm interested in seeing you and getting to know you or in whatever. There's more holes right in that tree. You know? Okay, so maybe it's not the big guys. Maybe it's the little guys. Maybe these guys are like the Keebler elves and they're grinding the acorns to give to the big guys. Come on, come on. So anyway, this is Robin from the magical San Francisco Bay Area. Cryptid, Sasquatch, little people, everything believers. Namaste, beloved. Y'all have a good day.